Hey everyone, C. Wilson here, and I review tech for graphic artists and creatives. Google has finally got back into the tablet game with the new Pixel tablet, a hybrid of sorts, a Nest Hub when docked, and a portable tablet when undocked. In the box, you'll find the power cable for the dock, the dock itself, and the Pixel tablet. Now, it doesn't come with a separate USB-C charger, so you either have to purchase one or use one that you have lying around the house to be able to charge the tablet itself without the dock. And the display of the Pixel tablet is 11 inches. It's an LCD display and has a 2560 by 1600 resolution. It has nice wide viewing angles and nice saturated colors. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and you could choose between either 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. This is all powered by Google Tensor G2 processor. And it does have a fingerprint sensor unlock through the power button. Now something you may have to get used to if you come from high end Samsung tablets iPad Pros or even the new OnePlus tablet is the refresh rate on this is 60 Hertz and not 120 Hertz meaning things may seem a little slow and when you're trying to click through different things or use your finger to swipe through the interface it feels a little slow and a little janky when you're trying to just simply click on different things meaning the touch sampling rate could possibly be not as good as those higher end tablets. Now the thing that comes as a bit of a surprise that no one's really talking about is that the Pixel tablet actually has stylus support. See here's the thing, buried in the source of the specs you'll see the Pixel tablet supports USI 2.0 support. USI is the universal stylus initiative. This includes capabilities like NFC wireless charging, pressure sensitivity, button support, improved tilt functionality, and even palm retraction when using it with the Pixel tablet and other Chrome OS tablets. The pen I'm using is the Pinnoble USI 2.0 stylus. It supports 4,096 levels of pressure and you can purchase this directly from Amazon. The pen is very similar to the Apple Pencil in design aesthetics. It has a 90 hour battery life and it takes about 50 minutes to charge. It uses USB-C type charging and the pin is magnetic and able to stick to the back of the tablet, which is definitely a convenience. Now, this is not on the same level quality of an Apple Pencil or Samsung S Pen. Those are built together with the tablets they are used one of the same expanded features whereas the pixel tablet it feels like the stylus support is kind of tacked on and not really built in which hopefully Google will build a pixel pen a pixel stylus pixel pencil to actually take advantage of the pen support here because going into that the line quality it's kind of lacking. There's no mention of latency, but as you can see, when I'm drawing my lines going swiftly across the tablet screen, you can see the line trails behind the pen. And you definitely have to jump in there and adjust the pressure per app because it will not pick up on that pressure sensitivity that the Pinovo has. Now, I can't necessarily blame Pinovo for this because it's not like Google has optimized the Pixel tablet to take full advantage of it. Which leads me into my next problem, which is palm rejection. As soon as my hand would rest on the screen and I would stuff to draw, once I started to draw, it would pick up on the hand and then it would no longer draw anymore which can start to be a little irritating when you're trying to draw these straight lines and the pen doesn't seem like it's working, but in fact it's just that the pen is no longer being detected and your hand is being registered as what's being touching the device, which it shouldn't have this problem, but once again, Google hasn't optimized this software to take full advantage of pen support. Now, for my overall thoughts, I believe Google has something special here. 
but they really have to build upon this. I'm not sure if that would be making a Pixel Tablet Pro to bring in these features or optimizing the software that they have with the Pixel Tablet they released and bringing their own pen to take advantage of their tablet because there's just things that you can't shake when drawing which is palm rejection being a big thing when it comes to drawing. Do I think it's worth it? At the current moment if you're an artist looking for a tablet there are better tablets that you can buy that definitely could provide a smoother more seamless experience. Now the thing that could be special about this tablet in my eyes is if you were to have this docked, say next to a TV, a scene sparks up that you see that actually inspires you to want to draw, being able to pull that tablet off of the dock because it's right in front of you because you're not always near your sketchbook or tablet or even a pen or paper or pencil, you could easily jump right into it and start to draw just being inspired from that one scene. Now, if they're not going to bring their own pencil out or stylus to take advantage of these types of things, then I can't see it going too far. As of now, it just feels like the pen is, like I said before, a tacked on experience. So then that goes into, do you trust Google to continue to support this tablet or will they discontinue it in the future? And will they build on making possibly a Pixel Tablet Pro that could have all these features, a little bit better features when it comes to pin support. And like I said, if they start to build it with pin support in mind, that means that you can get an overall better experience. So I see this as kind of a sketch journal, convenient luxury item that could be in the spot where you get the most creative where you can just pick it up and start drawing. Now, do I think it's worth its full price at the moment? No, especially for artists. If you want to get this just because it's a Google device, you can get it on a discount, maybe in the near future, which would possibly be better for you. Now, overall, I think it's a, a pass for now until they give it more updates to make it a little bit better. So, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video like I typically do. So you can see my drawing process. So hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment if you have any questions and peace.